Hi traders, this is a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose and this video is not investment advice. This video is another deep explanation video and this time I will uh, talk about um, how to trade VIX at support and resistance, yes, at any kind of key level, EMA, Fibonacci level, uh, round numbers and so on and so on. And um, I will show you how important it is to understand candlestick VIX in trading. Uh, because a lot of my subscribers and a lot of traders do not understand what the wigs are really uh, telling you. Yes, what the market is going to tell you based on the wigs. So, and uh, for um, to understand this, I have uh, prepared already some kind of stuff. But before we are going to start into this, I want to show you some of those concepts which are really important to uh, get. Uh, before you're gonna see this video. Yes, so let me see. First of all, I want to show you this kind of uh, evening session of the euro usd chart of the friday evening you see here a nice pullback yes a nice pullback from the 20 ma going into an uptrend after retracement to key level which was also a fake breakout we got here some rejections from some kind of emas and here uh, you see that you have to be careful because you don't know from which kind of ema price is going to reject and uh, as, so, as long as you don't know this, yes, you stay away from any kind of trade. After this pullback here and this kind of engulfing candle, you could say go into a call trade, yes, but you need a rejection here from the 50 or from the 100 EMA to understand if it's still an uptrend coming up or only a consolidation area because we are far away from the two deviation Bollinger Band. We are between the one deviation upper Bollinger Band and the one deviation lower Bollinger Band. So here, the next candle after this kind of doji, what would this be? Most probably this candle will be some kind of doji or weak bearish candle. Why? Because this looks for me like a fake breakout and depending on the trend itself, uh, it uh, shows you if price will continue to go in an uptrend or will do a reversal because of the ranging market of this uh, ranging um, market character here. So important is here this week here is showing in this moment selling pressure. Yes, because you see here no other uh, support and resistance level. Yes, and uh, the only support and resistance level would be this one. And as soon as this candle will break through this level here. Uh, you stay out of any kind of call trade, yes, because the next uh, support and resistance level would be the lower shadow of this doji. So, because of the mm, novel process of elimination, yes, that means after this bullish candle we got this kind of weak candle and after this we got this doji, there are only two options to trade here. The first option is to do a put option, yes, on this round number as soon price will break through this level and got a rejection you enter into a put trade that would be uh, using the process of elimination but much better in this case would be that you would follow the trend and that is what i'm trying to explain over and over again when i'm talking about the highest probability trading setups yes that means you wait that price goes back to this level here and on this level you enter into a call trade because this level will be a support level because we have a minor uptrend and we are going into a major uptrend we got because we got here this kind of pullback and the change of polarity um, of this 20 ema which is going into an uptrend so let me show you this uh, in the ebook because uh, it's important that you got those kind of stuff so we have this kind of scenario here that is uh, how to spot highest probability trading setups we have an engulfing candle after this engulfing candle we get a retracement or a continuation pattern and after this continuation pattern you enter into a trend continuation till and that is important you get any kind of sign of a reversal if you get a sign of a reversal you need after the sign of a reversal uh, any kind of confirmation that means in general yes you got here uh, a sign of reversal yes here in form of an evening star we are creating here lower uh, lower lows yes that means we are getting here most probably into a downtrend that was a weak candle and then we got into a downtrend and on the next rejection you follow the downtrend and this would be a nice put here above the one deviation Bollinger band as a trend continuation and using the 50% level of this Baru Buzo candlestick as a, so a resistance level. So after this you wait for any kind of reversal sign. This engulfing candle is a reversal sign. 
uh, we got here a gap down yes, below the round number. But anyway, uh, the important stuff is that you wait for a rejection um, from the opening price, uh, closing price of the previous candle or for last candle opening price, that is this one here. You wait for a rejection from this level or if you have close to this any kind of support and resistance level, you wait for the rejection from this key level. And uh, important here is that this was a retracement of this new upcoming uptrend because we are still in a ranging market. Yes, and the trend was not established. But this kind of candle here, this engulfing candle with this lower shadow, which was showing a lot of buying pressure, uh, was showing that we are going now in a continuation of the trend. So here you, you wait that price goes above this level and on the rejection from this level you enter into a put or as price is going to break through this level, yes, you can do also a put but you have to try to get a higher entry point. Um, like I have explained so often, if you want to do a call after a doji, you have to enter below the closing price of the previous candle and if you have to, to trade a put option after a doji, then you have to try to get into this uh, above the closing price of the previous candle and because we have here this kind of support and resistance level, this round number, it will be most probably difficult to get a rejection and entering above the closing price of the previous candle but this is showing here some kind of weakness and so I'm expecting here some kind of fake breakout of this kind of support and resistance level and the next candle will most probably uh, close above the lower shadow of the doji because of the character of the uptrend and you will understand today with uh, how to trade the wicks at support and resistance level yes understanding candlestick wicks in trading how to trade the wicks right depending on the trend depending on the position yes and also depending on the candlestick wicks and the most important part which i have not talked about now because i didn't saw this necessary but now i understood that this is more really important about how the wick is interacting with the key level that means is the wick crossing the key level is the wick touching only the key level or is the wick um, uh, not touching the key level and I will show you now here some examples so for example this wick here is crossing the one deviation Bollinger Band yes this wick here is touching exactly the round number yes here this wick is touching exactly the round number yes and depending on the position of the trend and depending on some other factors like uh, can a real body yes the color of the real body the relation to the um, uh, opposite wick yes uh, it everything is telling you exactly what the market is trying to do um, um, based on the rig reading yes we need only to read the wicks to understand the pressure so now we are going uh, into the deep fight that means um, that was the highest probability trading setup. To understand this kind of video which I have, I'm doing now, uh, you need some basic stuff which I have already covered. And that was this stuff where I talked uh, first of all about support and resistance. Yes, that is this one. Um, that you have to understand the change of polarity and what it means to com get confirmed a support and resistance level. This support and resistance levels can be everything. Yes, EMA 200, EMA 100, EMA 50, uh, EMA 20, uh, EMA 75. Yes, or uh, Fibonacci levels or trend lines, everything can be used as support and resistance level depending only from the trend. If you have an uptrend, you do call options on support level, that is this one here, call option on support level in an uptrend. Yes, if you're doing put options, you do put options, that is this one here, on resistance in a downtrend. Here you got the confirmation of this major support and resistance level after the touch of it yes you trade the next candle in direction of the downtrend yes because you do put option on resistance in a downtrend so that is this one the next concept which you sh uh, should understand is the uh, concept about what is support and resistance based on the candlestick patterns uh, you see always often that all those kind of stuff are really interacting like a gear and if you understand the resistance support and resistance based on the wicks you understand uh, what will happen next what how to predict next candlestick yes and uh, that is important that you got this that are only a few candlestick patterns but every candlestick pattern which has a wick has a story behind and that story tells you exactly um, where the pressure is coming and I will clarify this kind of stuff in a few minutes when I'm talking about
you know, how to trade weeks at support and resistance levels. So important is also because you cannot see everything alone. You have to get them all together. And uh, here important is that you understand uh, the progression, yes, the progression uh, and pressure reading of candlestick patterns. Here we have the bullish candlestick patterns, yes, which are telling you how bullish a candle can be. Yes, depending obviously without support and resistance level. This is only based on the wicks. Yes, and that is telling you exactly what this means. So you see here, this longer uh, upper shadow is showing buying pressure because we have less bullish. But the problem is here, if we are key in, uh, cl close to a key level, this is bullish too because price will continue to going up because this upper shadow is showing buying pressure in this case. Okay, so uh, because we have here a resistance level and this resistance level um, means that price will try to go to this resistance level. So that are those concepts. Watch those kind of videos because they are important to understand those kind of things which I'm explaining. Here we have also this kind of stuff, so how to predict the next candlestick direction based on the retracement. I'm telling this, this kind of stuff is most um, part of, um, yes, will happen often in ranging market. In ranging market, you will get often retracements back to uh, a key level. It can be the opening price of the four last candle, yes, but it can be also only a support and resistance level, which is uh, in between one deviation, two deviation, or uh, even EMAs, yes. So you don't need to care about uh, those kind of things. This kind of candlesticks are special candlesticks, yes, but you can apply this to each and every candlestick because it's only the concept which is important to understand that you get a retracement back to key level and after this you can uh, continue to doing the trend continuation of the new upcoming trend. The, uh, also important, those kind of stuff which I'm talking about, the entry points, yes, because also if I talked here about this one here, what will be the next candle, it doesn't important what the next candle will be, important is how you trade the next candle. And I told you, you have to wait for a rejection from this level, yes, uh, because we are in a minor uptrend and we are going into a major uptrend. We have here price action on the left, so most probably price will reject from this level and closing above this level. Yes, because uh, the trend is up, uh, but you can do also a put option. Yes, when you get a rejection here from this round number, then you can do a put option. Or if you see the price will go immediately down, will go up again, and uh, then you try to get a better entry point above the closing price of the previous candle. And that is what I'm explaining here. Yes, you try always to go above or below the previous candle closing price or the support and resistance level or EMAs, whatever you need. Yes, here everything is, when I'm t t talking about candlestick pattern, chart pattern, consolidation level and support and resistance, uh, I mean everything, yes, the Fibonacci levels, EMAs and so on. So, and um, because you don't know how strong any kind of uh, support and resistance level is, horizontal lines are, yes, only if you see the wicks which are forming there and uh, how often it got touched then uh, uh, that is the problem ma mainly that you don't can understand the strength and that for this reason the EMAs are much better yes the 200 EMA for example which is uh, um, was eliminated um, at the moment by IQ option is one of the most reliable EMAs because it's a 200 EMA 200 day uh, moving average that means that uh, you can trust it and that's the reason why my uh, bot sure shots are based on those kind of high EMA uh, EMAs because those are really trustable and they will bring you money yes that is what this is the bot sure shots are not working for fun they are working because there is a concept behind this so and the last one is obviously the moving of the running candle which uh, I can uh, I have shown you in my live trading but you have to imagine how it works yes because at the end uh, after an engulfing candle you have to wait that price goes back to key level and on the rejection you enter above this kind of support and resistance level which was based on the opening price of the four last candle of this engulfing candle yes that this is uh, how the concept works and the same is valid also for the consolidation area for the chart pattern and also for the support and resistance level so before I'm going to show you this more in detail let me show you the, the other things which are really important yes that one was uh, the previous one where I talked about how to trade wicks, wicks in binary option, understanding wicks in trading, where I talked about the position of the candlestick patterns 
in the relation to the trend and depending on it uh, it tells you exactly what will happen if you are at the beginning of a trend then you are almost in a consolidation area or ranging market and that means that you don't have any kind of confirmation if any kind of support and resistance level is working so you need a confirmation to enter into any kind of trade um, um, and that uh, means that you need any kind of candlestick confirmation before you are uh, can go into a trend continuation yes so that means that if we have here that means that we have here at the beginning of a trend that means you get this kind of this kind of highest probability trading setup stuff yes you are here i show you where you are if i'm talking about this kind of error we are exactly here look at this here we are here yes that means we got now a reversal signal yes but the trend is not established that means we do not know what will happen after this engulfing candle and after this engulfing candle you wait for the confirmation in form of a candle or uh, for in form of a rejection from the support and resistance level or the opening price of the four last candle yes that is only with the engulfing candle but you can do this with every kind of candlestick yes evening star morning star and so on and so on so okay that was this one so now we are going into the deep fight yeah, but before i go and uh, do this i have to mention my ebooks get the ebooks yes because you see all those kind of concepts are working together and we have here the price action guide you can get this in the description yes i will not talk too much about this the price action guides are 100 pages of 120 pages of illustrations of all those kind of concepts which have to use to be used in addition with the videos yes then we have the bot price action bible you find the link in the description too this bot, bot price action bible contains the illustrations 270 pages of illustrations and explanations that means you get detailed information about the context about uh, support and resistance and how to trade candlestick pattern chart patterns and how to apply those kind of concepts which I have explained um, in detail in my ebooks uh, really good and uh, really um, uh, easy yes it's easy English you don't need a uh, big uh, knowledge about English yes because at the end you are using always the same uh, terms yes like trend uh, key level and so on and so on and the candlestick pattern obviously you have to uh, know them if I'm talking about the uh, evening star you should understand what the evening star is Yes, that is uh, for me enormous stuff. And then we have obviously for those one who want to embrace their trading and uh, prove their trading, the video packs one, two, three, and four. Video pack one for the beginner, video pack two for the moderate one, video pack three for the advanced one, and video pack four for the uh, pros. Yes, those kind of video packs are really high educational. You get instant access to my core knowledge and you will improve your trading immediately, yes, dramatically. Um, after watching those kind of videos. Video pack 1 uh, contains 104 videos, all of them really nice explained what gone wrong, what gone right of those kind of trades which have done my bot mentorship program students. And then obviously we have uh, the bot mentorship program, you can still apply for it, uh, you cannot buy it, you have to apply and uh, enroll the application process. Send me an email to botobotrader at gmail.com with the uh, subject bot mentorship program and then I will uh, send you the email and that will be the enrolling of the application process for the bot mentorship program if you want to become a successful, profitable, full-time or part-time trader. Yes, so and those kind of stuff. So let me see. Um, um, yes, here is the Bible. Here we have the highest probability trading setups, which are really good because at the end you are doing nothing else than a put option on resistance in a downtrend, put option on resistance in a downtrend uh, after confirmation of any kind of candlestick pattern, which is showing you a reversal or a retracement. So let me go in deep. So important is that you watch this kind of video here where I talked about the position of the trend and the wick reading and now we are going to talk this one. I have prepared this already and so I will do this a little bit more faster because I don't want to draw it always in front of you. So we have here this kind of stuff, how to trade wicks at support and resistance, understanding candlestick wicks in trading. So what is the matter here? We have here wick crossing, yes, Cro wicks are crossing support and resistance level. That means we have pressure a lot of pressure because else it would not pro go through this kind of support and resistance level but we have also a lot of pressure of the opposite side yes because we got pressed pressed down again yes below this support and resistance level that means at the end of an uptrend 
that most probably the next candle yes will be um, a bearish one yes it will be a bearish one depending obviously of the trend strength i cannot um, implicate everything here yes but i'm talking only about the position of the candlestick where it appears yes uh, in this case of the support level that means at the end of an uptrend we got huge selling pressure so on the next candle you can expect a bearish one if you are in the uh, in the halfway of a downtrend this is a confirmation that you can go into a trend continuation yes because this is showing much more selling pressure because we are in between of a downtrend we got selling pressure we got the confirmation this is a put option here on uh, resistance level in a downtrend you see here resistance and then you enter into a trend continuation if you are in between of a uh, minor downtrend and a major downtrend yes uh, obviously the minor downtrend is in this case more important because you are trading here binary option turbo trading that means you have one minute expiration time so rely more on the minor downtrend instead of the major downtrend but if you have both of them on your side you can uh, handle this much better so then we have the second one at the end of a downtrend this kind of trick is showing buying pressure not anymore selling pressure Yes, and that is almost seen on the previous candle. If this wick is breaking through the resistance level, it means at the end of a downtrend, yes, so you have to analyze the trend before, yes, and seeing where you are in relation to the trend. And if you are at the end of a trend, this kind of candle is showing buying pressure because price is pushing against the resistance level and is trying to do um, uh, higher highs. And that's the reason why uh, you can do on the next candle call option obviously you have to apply those kind of things which i have explained in my ebooks uh, about how to trade on the entry points yes because you have to wait for a rejection as a confirmation that this will be really the end of a trend and then you are doing uh, the reversal trade yes in a call if you are in an uptrend yes uh, at the half of the uptrend that means you are uh, have a good trend uptrend then you entering into a trend continuation because this is showing also buying pressure so i uh, put them both together so that you can uh, handle this much uh, easier and you can understand this easier so if you have a ranging market and that can be changing at any point that is really dangerous because mostly um, uh, you have to understand that ranging market is almost uh, only a, a short period yes where price tries to consolidate and after this price is going to continue that what is going to do but often after the ranging market which is a consolidation area which is also formed by a Bollinger band squeeze yes uh, it can happen that a trend will form and then you will get hit but if you are having a ranging market and you are still in a ranging market and you got a wick which is crossing the key level to deviation Bollinger Band EMAs or whatever in a ranging market you can expect mostly that price will reverse there because price and market is moving in waves and that is the character of a ranging market you have a trading range and in this kind of trading range the price will move and that is a uh, why uh, a crossing of the wick uh, of the key level in a ranging market means almost often uh, when the wick is crossing uh, deeply um, some kind of reversal yes in a trending market you have to understand the trend where you are in a position of a trend to understand if it would be a trend continuation or not because we are in an uptrend price will go to the key level and after this you have to understand if this kind of key level is confirmed as major support and resistance level and that is the reason why i have told you to watch this uh, previous video so and uh, all those kind of videos which i have named before so the next one is if the wick is only touching that look at this the first one, wick crossing, is something like this here. Yes, this is what wick is crossing support and resistance level. Uh, wick is crossing here support and resistance level. Yes, the so one deviation boiling up band. This is touching of support and resistance level. Yes, because we have here round number the 1.12700. And this round number is a touching of this key level. Here we have also a touching of this level. It's not a crossing, it's a big difference. The same is here. This touching here of the 20 EMA is different from the crossing of uh, in some kind of key level. Yes, because it's uh, much more pressure behind those kind of uh, crossing. Here we have much more pressure. Um, uh, instead here we have 
not so much pressure because at the end price stopped there there are waiting the sellers are waiting there and they are trying obviously to uh, manipulate and to uh, trick the traders so look at this what will happen if the wick is touching only and not crossing that means at the end of an uptrend you will most probably getting a reversal because that shows that here are waiting the sellers and the next candle will most probably a bearish one um, depending on the length of the wick obviously because uh, shorter the wick much more probably that the trend will continue yes but in general if you have a nice wick uh, above which is cr touching only you can do uh, in this case um, a trend continuation or you are in the trend but if you are in between you have to understand that uh, you uh, get a reversal. So in between of a trend, this is a put option on resistance. This was a confirmation that this resistance is working. Obviously, it's also important that the real body, uh, which color has a real body, what kind of uh, um, opposite uh, wick you have, uh, what is telling this. But in general, yes, if you have a touching of this and you are in between of a trend, you can do a put option on the next candle as a trend continuation because this shows that the sellers are still waiting here and so you have the protection to do a trend continuation. Uh, if you are obviously, uh, in, you, there is a probability of doing a reversal trade after this one yes, as a trend continuation, but for this you need uh, almost a strong trend yes and uh, uh, if you are at the end of a trend you can expect that price will reverse the trend continuation is only because of the distance here and depending on the market so the next one is this one when you are at the end of a downtrend this pressure here which was previous one selling pressure yes because it shows that we have here an area where sellers are waiting they are not allowing the buyers to go through this level that means that they are sitting there and there will be happening a reversal for sure but if you are at the end of a trend this kind of tentative of a touch will initiate often a fake breakout of this kind of support and resistance level and that's the reason why i have done here a upper arrow yes because at the end of a downtrend in form of any kind of a candlestick pattern showing and touching only shows this can be a fake breakout yes because we have buyers who are tempting to break through the resistance level i'm doing this here only with the resistance level i could do this only also with the support level but at the end it's the same stuff uh, you need only to do the opposite stuff yes so on the next if you are in um, the middle of an uptrend and that is the reason why i'm talking that you have to watch this kind of video before because here i have explained exactly how the wicks are acting in relation to the support and resistance level if it's only uh, showing the wick and in to relation to the key level here instead i'm showing what happens if it's only touching it so if you have ranging market and price is going to touch the more probability uh, is that price will do a reversal at this level because of the ranging market. Uh, um, uh, it can be that uh, there will be a reversal, uh, but uh, the problem is obviously if you have still uh, a minor uptrend in a ranging market, price can push against this support and resistance level. Yes, because at the end we didn't cross this, and so in ranging market it has it can have bad have also some kind of um, yes upper tendons so the next one is the last one and that is a wick not touching yes if the wick is not touching and you are in between of um, a, a minor downtrend then you can expect that on the next candle there will happen some kind of uh, retracement and that is what this uh, week is telling you this week is telling you we have buying pressure but this buying pressure is still not enough uh, to go through the key level but we are already close to the key level so at the end uh, it can be another retracement candle coming before the downtrend will continue here you need some kind of confirmation to continue the downtrend because this week is in, in, in a halfway of a downtrend some kind of buying pressure so the next one is this one where you are in between of an uptrend you see we have here not the end of an uptrend or something because this would only confuse you in between of an uptrend this candle is showing here that we have selling pressure the upper shadow in this case we are close to this yes and uh, because uh, this kind of stuff is showing selling pressure because we are close to this uh, the mo most probably the next candle will be a bearish one but only as doing a retracement back to key level for the trend continuation yes that is only uh, that what will happen 
happen for the next candle, not the, a, a general trend, because we are in a between of a trend, that means we will have only a retracement next to this, depending on this resistance level. Yes, if price is going to break through this level, you will enter after price will come back close to the closing price into a call option and here you will do nothing else than a put option if price is not going to break the upper shadow of this level that means in general that uh, the trend has lost much more momentum and then you can apply in general those kind of stuff which I have explained here as yes, that you can expect a reversal happening obviously in a ranging market price will go close to the key level so the next candle will be a bullish one yes um, and in general um, it can be a reversal happening uh, or a retracement happening but uh, because of the ranging market character but in general it will be most probably that price will go to the key level itself so that is this one what I want to show you in this kind of video you see how important it is to understand what the week is exactly doing with the key level if you have a lot of key levels like uh, EMAs like in this case you have first to determine and understanding which kind of those kind of EMAs is interacting as support and resistance level and based on it you can do this kind of stuff and doing the trend continuation or uh, the reversal trades depending on the candlestick pattern which are telling you this okay that was already if you like this video do a like if you didn't subscribe subscribe to my channel and if you have something to say drop me a line in the comment section so i would say stay safe and bye bye